Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing the skill administration of oral medication. I'm in the appropriate school attire. My badge is visible. No polish, no acrylic nails, no jewelry. Um, first, I'm going to start the scalp by uh, verifying my precision drawers for my patient. I'm going to verify the six rights of medication administration. They are right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. After verifying those six, I will check my medication in the, um, orders in the MAR. I need to do this three times before administrating any medication to a patient. So this is my first step in doing so. Um, the medications that uh, are ordered for my patient, there are five of them. They are from MAR 1. They are daily 9 a.m. medications. The first one is Dacusate Sodium. There's a 100 milligram uh, tablet. Second one is Warfarin. It's a 5 milligram tablet. Third one is ferrosamide, a 20 milligram tablet. Uh, fourth is uh, potassium chloride, a 20 milliequivalent tablet. And the fifth one is a liquid medication. It's acetaminophen, 500 milligrams per 15 ml. Uh, there's no dosage calculation needed for um, any of these medications. They are prepped in radio. So I will gather medication and I will proceed to my patient's room. I will knock, enter, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy and to avoid any HIPAA violations. I will set my supplies or my medication down on a clean, dry, flat surface. Okay. I will come over here in hand hygiene and introduce myself to the patient. Hi, Ms. Smith. My name is Emily. Can I please have your name and date of birth? As I verify with their recipient, um, this also counts as my two-patient identifier. All right, Ms. Smith, do you have any allergies by any chance? No, not allergies. Awesome. Well, I'm going to um, get, go over here and look at my computer real quick. Uh, give me just a second. Second time verifying medication with the mark. Okay. All right, Ms. Smith, I'm going to come over here and hand hygiene again. I'm going to put some gloves on. We're going to get started. All right, now that I'm at patient bedside, I'm going to verify for a third time with my medication. That is my third and final time. Um, before giving the medication to a patient, I need to ensure that there aren't any uh, pre-administration assessments needed for medication. Um, any possible ones for any of these five uh, medications. So, for Jacusate sodium, I want to make sure that they aren't experiencing any vomiting or diarrhea. For warfarin, I want to make sure they aren't um, showing any signs of uh, excessive bleeding, whether it's bruising, or blood in their urine stool, any cuts that won't stop. I also want to monitor um, lab bellies for PT and INR and make sure that they stay are within normal range and stay within normal range. Um, for the third medication, ferrosamide, I want to check their blood pressure, pulse, and their weight. For potassium chloride, I want to check their blood pressure, pulse, and possibly an EKG. Uh, depending on the situation. The fifth one for acetaminophen, I want to um, ensure they don't have any uh, liver complications. If they do, I need to uh, check and monitor their liver function tests, uh, make sure the lab bellies stay within range. Also, um, not as common, but can happen if a patient is a diabetic. I want to check their glucose before giving the acetaminophen. Um, it can cause low pulse readings. All right, so I'm done with any of those, or all of those. I'm going to move on with my patient. All right, Ms. Smith, well, um, as you can see, I have your medication here. They are your daily 9 o'clock uh, medications. You have four tablets, and then you have one liquid medication. So I'm going to speak to you about those. I'm going to let you know what they are, what they do, and then some common side effects and adverse reactions. So um, side effects, although they it can be typical to get maybe them with uh, most medications, what um, we don't want to happen is we don't want them to prolong or to get any worse. If that does happen, uh, please let me know. And the adverse reactions for any of the medications, they are uh, they require immediate attention. We do not want them to happen, and I will notify the physician. Um, so, your um, four tablets. For your first medication out of the five, you have uh, Dacusate sodium. That is a stool softener. It just prevents um, constipation. Um, some common side effects for that would be uh, abdominal cramping, any nausea. Adverse reactions would be any facial swelling or a rash anywhere in your body. Uh, your second medication, which is uh, the warfarin, that is a anticoagulant, and what that does, it just prevents uh, blood clots. And side effects for that would be if you have any cuts or wounds on your body, they will take longer to clot and heal. Um, also, when you brush your teeth, you may notice some slight bleeding, so try to use a softer toothbrush. Um, 
adverse reactions for that medication would be coughing up any blood, any blood in your um, stool or urine. Okay? Your third medication, furosemide. That is a diuretic, and what that does is it helps excrete um, kidney, more fluid from your kidneys, also lowers your blood pressure. And um, some common side effects for that would be increased thirst, maybe a slight headache, um, and any adverse reactions would be muscle cramps um, or weakness. Now, those can, signify, those can signify an electrolyte imbalance, so that we need to know if any of that occurs and deal with it as fast as we can. Uh, your fourth medication, that is potassium chloride. It's just a potassium supplement. We want to make sure your um, potassium levels don't drop too low. And some common side effects for that would be um, maybe get a little gassy, um, upset stomach. Adverse reactions would be weakness or heart palpitations. Again, um, please let me know if that happens, um, and we will deal with that. Uh, fifth medication, acetaminophen. That is an antipyretic and an analgesic, and that just treats uh, fevers and pain. Um, side effects for that would be nausea and maybe slight loss of appetite. And the adverse reactions would be a rash anywhere in your body or extreme abdominal pain. Um, so again, um, any adverse reactions, um, let me know as soon as they happen, okay? Uh, do you have any questions for me? No? No questions? Okay. Well, I'm going to get your tablets um, ready first. Um, I'm going to have you sit up in the bed a little bit more. Okay, awesome. Are you comfortable? Okay, good. For your tablets, do you typically take them all at once in the medicine cup here, or do you have to take them separately? You can take them together. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to get your four tablets. I'm going to put them in the medicine cup here. Okay. Two, three, four. All right, I have them ready for you, and I have your water right here. Take those. Good. Okay, there's some water. Awesome. Are you okay? Good. Okay, so here is your liquid medication. Give me just a second to get it prepared. Liquid medication. Um, when giving that, I want to make sure that I shake it for the appropriate amount of time. And then also the uh, label here, I want to make sure I put that in the palm of my hand to protect it. The lid, the open part here at the top, I want to make sure that I set it down with that pointing upward, just like that. And then also when pouring a liquid medication, I want to make sure it's on a flat surface, like the table here. And I'm going to just pour it to 15 ml. I also want to make sure that nothing touches the rim of the cup, like the medicine cup or anything. When I'm finished, I will get a clean tissue, wipe just around the edge here, not on top and inside, just on the edge, get the excess medication, dispose of that. Then put the lid back on, put that aside. All right, Miss McGabby, liquid medication. All right, go ahead and take that. Good. Here's some water to follow. Good. Okay. How do you feel? Are you okay? All right, well, I'm going to have you remain upright for a little bit, um, and I'll come back and check on you, okay? You're comfortable? Good, okay. My patient has stated she is comfortable. Her bed is in proper position. She has her call light. I'm going to remove my gloves. Dispose of them. Come over here and hand hygiene. I'm going to take the liquid medication back to the bedroom and go document my results.